from Canada. I live um, 20 minutes from Niagara Falls in a town called St. Catharines, also 20 minutes from the border of the United States. I've worked as, as a teacher for 16 years. Um, six of those years have been overseas, 10 of the years were in Toronto. You can't expect someone who comes into your class not knowing how to read, not knowing English, and expect them, like, in two weeks to know everything. Um, I had, my first year here was my first year teaching non-English speaking students from different countries. In Venezuela, they were all Venezuelan and they all spoke Spanish, so I didn't have other languages to work with. I only had Spanish. And I came here and I had a boy and a girl and they were both Romanian. Well, Moldovan, but they spoke Romanian. And I had them in the afternoons, and I'm like, oh, how can I communicate with them? They don't know English. I don't know any Romanian at the moment. How can I do this? And the first few months, it was hard. But watching them gain their language, and it was tough. I had the, the one little girl, she had never had school before. And so up until December, we were like this because of the language barrier. I mean, she had language, but it wasn't really solid yet. And then it, it, it petered out a little bit. But January, she came back to the school, walked through my classroom door. It's like, hi, Miss Harden. I'm like, hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Hi, great, great. Blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, well, sit down and start your homework. You know, copy your homework. Because I have to copy your homework every morning. Copy your homework. She sat down and copied her homework. I didn't have to tell her to put her bag away. I didn't have to tell her to unpack her bag. I didn't have to, she knew the routine. Some kids need that doing. They need to have the, you know, the math things and build the structure that you want them to do. Figure out the personalities and the interests of the students when you teach. You know, if they're um, interested in dinosaurs, well, incorporate that into your lessons every now and again. If they're interested in rocks, like one of my kids was this year, Talk about it. Let her expound on rocks for however long she wants to. I mean, don't let her take a whole period. Um, but let them talk about it with interest, though. Especially if they're learning English. That's one way they learn it. They can speak it. Then they've got it. 